Okay, now we're going to add um, our lenses to our sunglasses, okay? Now, just like glass, you can kind of see through them a little bit. So our transparency is going to be about 50%, and we're going to add a little shimmer like the sun has been hitting our, our glasses. So the first thing we want to do is open up our original shapes layer. So click on that little triangle, and, click, and then click on the little triangle next to the word compound shape, okay? Now you should see each one of your lenses, if you click on these little circles, okay? Click and hold the shift key and select both lenses. Then create a new layer and name it lens, okay? Then click okay. Then you want to do a copy and then click on your lens layer and do a paste in place, which is control F, F as in frog, okay? And those, lay those layers will paste in your compound shape layer. So click and drag them into your lens layer. Okay, now we have our two shapes inside of our lens layer. You can close up your original shape layer now. And now that we have both of our lenses selected um, and in their own separate layer, I'm going to have you open the gradient palette. Now the gradient palette is going to give you um, a really nice effect to give your glasses a 3D effect. So to do that, go to your swatches palette and click this, these three lines right here. Then click open swatch library and click gradients. Then you want to click sky, okay? Make sure sky is open. When you click sky, choose one of these blue gray gradients, okay? Experiment with which ones you like the best, okay? Just think about color for right now because we're going to change the angle of it. I like the color of, let's say, this one, okay? Now, what we're going to do is change the transparency of our um, lenses. So we want to do a window and click transparency. Now, that will open up our transparencies palette, okay? then you want to knock down your transparency to 50%, okay? So now you can see through your lenses a little bit. Now I'm going to hide my image so you can really see. See how there's a little blue there? You know what, my color is really light, so I'm actually going to kick mine back up to about 60% so we can still see some of that blue. Now this is up to you guys, okay? You want to play with your transparency so you can still see some of the color, but so that way you can see your lenses or excuse me, your arms through the lenses as well. So I actually like mine at 75%. Then, in order to change the angle our gradient is hitting our lenses, click this button. This is your gradient tool. If you click that, you get little crosshairs. Then you can click and drag and see how my gradient is changing. You can tell it where you want the gradient to go. And now that's where I want mine to go, from the bottom up to the top. Okay, now once you've gotten your gradient um, going in the direction that you want it to go, I want you to do a file save, just in case your computer freezes. Okay, make sure you save it to your iDrive. And it may take a little while because this is um, going to become a pretty big file here in a little bit because of the... Um, effects that we're going to be adding to it. Okay, now once it's saved, we need to add an inner glow. Okay, so this will give your glasses that shimmer like the sun is hitting it. So I want you to go to Effect, Stylize, Inner Glow. Now make sure this button is clicked, Preview. If you don't click that, you can't preview what it's going to look like, and then once you click OK, it's all done. You have to undo and go back and do it again. It's just easier if you click preview. Keep your opacity at about 75%, but change the blur size to 30. Okay? Then click OK. Or not. Oh, I forgot to do this. You want to do soft light and then change this to. 30. Where are we going? 
and then click OK. Now I know you may not see it right now, but it is subtle. See how there's a little bit of blur around the edge of your lens? It's subtle, but it, it adds a wonderful effect to your glasses when it's finished. Okay? Now that you have that, I want you to do another file save. And after this, I'm going to show you how to open up your patterns, and we're going to add a funky pattern to our sunglasses. So file, save your work, and then move on to the next tutorial.